We've been discussing the two forms of economic warfare and how to stop them. The foreign form is an attempt to destroy the value of the American dollar. Russia and China know how indebted we are, and they want to make the dollar just another worthless currency. It's backed only by the full faith and credit of the United States, and they're working hard to undermine that. And inflation is helping make their case. What would you do if the dollar suddenly lost half its value? Your money would be worth less and could eventually become worthless. But if we had a state-based, gold-backed cryptocurrency, you'd have a safe haven. Would it be great to be able to own gold and silver without having to pay capital gains tax on it? This could be a means of escape for your money. Here's how it would work. A state, any state, Texas, Florida, Oklahoma, New Jersey, they could let you deposit with them money that they could either buy gold and silver with, or you could just take gold and silver to them, and they keep it on deposit and issue coins. And not, not physical coins, but crypto coins. That would represent the gold and silver that they held on your behalf. And they'd be digital, backed up with complete records. You could spend the money just as you would with a debit card. All is electronic, but it would likely keep its value even during periods of inflation or currency tax, just like gold and silver have done for thousands of years. If you went to buy a burger, you'd just take your card, you'd swipe the card, and money would come out of your account and give it to the restaurant. They could keep it in gold and silver if they wanted, or they could cash it out and get paper money if they wanted. It'd be their choice. Is this even possible? Let me share. The process was started a decade ago by my state representative in Texas, Giovanni Cabriglione. In 2012, he was running for the state house, knocked on my door, and I said, here's an idea. And guess what? He already had the idea, and he wanted to pursue it. In 2015, he finally got the Texas Bullion Depository passed, and you can now deposit your gold and silver with the state of Texas. This is the first step in building what we call a digital Texan. And we want to introduce legislation in the very next session to finish the job. That means fairly soon, Texas residents may be able to transact business using a brand new state-based gold and silver-backed cryptocurrency. Let's call it the digital Texan. It'll be as convenient as a debit card, and it should be protected from inflation and taxation. But what if you don't live here in Texas? Number one, maybe you should move here. We've had a lot of people moving in. We love good conservative Americans that believe in our future. But if you can't move to our great state, you should be able to follow our lead. We've had opening conversations with Alaska, Oklahoma, and Florida. Any American state could create their own digital coin. And we could make those digital coins interchangeable. So Texas would let you use your um, Oklahoma coin here and vice versa. You know, kind of like we do with toll tags when you drive on roads and, and they just take it out of your account and they pay the different state. Listen, there's an old Wall Street saying that money goes where it's treated best. To me, that means that as long as competition is allowed, people will use whatever works best. And in the case of state-based digital currencies, I believe they'll all have to stay competitive, which means you'll benefit. In Texas, I'm pushing for a digital currency bill of rights that would protect you from an intrusive government. The state should promise to not take away your money without due process and a court order. In addition, it should be none of the state's business to control your spending not cutting you off if you want to buy a large soda instead of a small one. That, that sounds crazy, but remember, New York Mayor Bloomberg tried that once, tried to make it illegal to buy a big soda. That's the kind of nanny state control governments want over you, and they're going to use your money to do it. And there's no trying to control where and how you would spend your money. If we have a Bill of Rights, we're going to say, no, no, no. That's important because the Federal Reserve wants to issue a digital dollar, and they've already mentioned how much they would control it and how much control that would give over your life. And you need to know President Biden issued an executive order on March 9th to make this happen.